I want to draw the question six of tangency problem for engineering drawing one with work example third edition by M. A. Parker and F. Pickup. As we can see, this is the base, and the base is one hundred and twelve millimeter. So I'll draw my plane of pro my plane of projection first of all. Plane. Okay, that's my plane. Then I will look at line one hundred and twelve millimeter. So, which is my ruler is in centimeter. So one hundred twelve millimeter is eleven point two centimeter. This my zero origin. 11.1.2 11.2 and after that it is raised above the plane of progression by 25 millimeter by 25 millimeter so I'm going to draw my 25 millimeter Five millimeter is two point five. Yeah. Good. Then after this twenty five millimeter, then I will draw a vertical line of ten millimeter before. The vertical height here. So, ten millimeter is one centimeter. Right. Now, next is to draw line. Okay, to measure from here to the center of a cycle that is here which is 100 to the center so and from the lowest point to the so and that 100 millimeter is 10 centimeter so here it is here it is good so then with that with this center here i can draw my cycle that i've made up made up of nine millimeter radius so i'll measure my 0 0.9 0 0.9 yeah this is my 0 0.9 so I'm open to here. All right. Then after that, then I'm to draw and hack to the cycle here. And the hack is made up of radius 140, 140. So let me locate that point, that radius 140. Then, as we all know that this is this curve goes extern is an external arc, so I'm going to be adding the radius to the radius of the blending cycle or blending arc. So, so for this cycle now that will be nine plus one forty. That is one forty nine. As fourteen point nine, right? Yes, fourteen point nine. I put it at the center. I'll mark. Then.
the other point here the other point here is going to be 140 because there's no circuit there so it's point zero so it's going to be 140 That's my 140. So I'll put it at this point here. No, sorry, here. I'll mark. So from here now, this is the center for the arc. So I'll, I'll compass this here at 140 because that 140 is the radius given to draw this blending arc. So In it here, as you can see, good. I've forgotten this part has this. Then the next thing is a circle that joins with this one here. So um, it is made up of radius eight, radius eight. We open our compass to radius 8, which is 0 0.8 centimeter. So we will put it here. Give my center for it. For it. Then I'll put it here. So, okay. I'll draw my circle here like this. Roll it back. So that's for this circle here. Then the next thing is this arc here and this radius here. Now there's also a circle here which is radius six. But how do we get that circle? First, since we are given the radius for the blending arc and also for the two blending arc. So therefore, we use the two blending arc to get the, to locate the center of this radius six circle. So how do we do that? Since for this arc, this is the center, and it is of one o five radius, and as it is, it's forming external arc blending arc with the circle. So that means we are going to add it. We are going to add it and put it here. To mark the center, so we had it. So that's 105 plus 6. That's 11. That's 11.1. So we increase our compass to 11.1. Here we go. 11.1. 11.1. So we draw the next is this radius which forms um that's on trade but is internal so we'll take um on we'll, we'll subtract six from hundred so we have ninety four so we we'll open our compass to ninety four Put it here. Okay, this is center for it. We put it at this point here. And make another arc. So as this, this is this is center for this circle of radius six that's here. So we can do that. Open our compass now to six. Put it at the center. Then, having done that, you can now draw the blending arc for this side and also for this side. So, for this side, as you all know. It comes like this to this point here, and it is 105. 
So we we'll open our compass to 105. Let's take 5. Hopefully, you enjoy your. Good. So, we've gotten this uh, blending arc for this circle, but now this side is redrawn into radius 15. Radius 15. So, I I'm going to use a radius of 15 to draw this arc here. So, how will I do that? So, so what I'll just do is to produce. Another parallel line, horizontal line of the same dimension to this and to this. So let's say I'm using one point five. One point five. So put in the air. So there's no even there's no need for that. Let me just measure. This is our 20 measurement. So let me see. So here is the parallel line. Now also another parallel hack to this one and which will be of the same dimension with this horizontal one. So that means I'm going to subtract out of one five I will subtract fifteen, that's one point five. So we have zero we have nine that's nineteen. So so now I open my compass to ninety. Make another one. Good. Now the intersection of this part where these two parallel line intercept, you open it to the dimension given, the one point five. So I will put it at that point of intersection. Now we'll draw. So I'm done with the lower part. I'm done. So after this now we'll join here to this part and clean our construction line and that will be the end of the join. So with my compass up to hundred. In this aspect, you might not need to take dimensions, just open to 100, put it here, and stretch to this part that you enter. So, what next is to clean all the construction lines and make our drains reef. All right, I'm cruising back on my work. Okay. 
go from here also to draw that curve. So 